Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of our little Paper Mario Master Quest Junior series that I started. Uh, last time we defeated the red and blue, uh, we did the entire first half of the prologue, ending with defeating the Goomba Bros. Right. This is a fake mushroom. Ta-da, Goomba. Uh, so yeah, um... At the time, I'm actually filming this right after I filmed the first part. So, I haven't gotten to see the reception on the first part yet or anything. But I hope you guys like like this. I kind of want to try and just take my, my streaming and channel in new directions other than just GD. So, I thought this would be a good way to do it. By playing the prequel to my favorite game of all time in a harder version. Gumping Fortress. Is it really this close by? Okay, I could have definitely done this last episode then. Well, that's how it is, I guess. Well, here we go. King Goomba. Uh, this boss is a pushover in the original because the red and blue Goomba bros are already weakened by the time you get here. So. Also, in case any of you are wondering, I will not be speeding up. Uh, I'm currently I'm playing this on uh, a developer build of uh, Project 64, and Project 64 has a really weird speeding up mechanic. Like it just doesn't work half the time. At least for me, it doesn't. So I just decided to not use it. That's why I skipped the intro as well. Anyways, so they are weakened, as we know. No, they're not weak. Okay, so that was changed. They're not weakened anymore. Let's tattle the Goomba King. Uh, he has 10 HP. Okay. Let's hammer the Goom Nut Tree. This will deal 3 damage to everyone. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so painful to get through. I just can't guard for life. Uh, I'm gonna take out the Red Goomba. There you go. Then I will do... Actually, yeah, I'll do a little bit of damage to Goomba King here. There you go. Dude, I'm gonna die if I keep screwing up like this. Holy shit. Um... Can... Goombario cannot use items for me, no. Alright, I'm gonna use a mushroom then. I don't really want to, but... I kind of have to at this point. <laughs> let's take... Yeah, let's just do this. It doesn't really matter at this point. That's better. There we go. Can you put out this? Anyway, let's power jump the Goomba King. Boop. At least he doesn't run off. Yeah, he doesn't run off like a pussy. Like, there's literally just some bosses in this game where they, like... I, well, there's, like, one, actually. I say some, that's not right. There's one boss in this game where it's just, like, right before he dies. It's just, like, psych. I'm gonna run from you now. Anyways. <laughs> now, honestly, I'm more worried about missing a star piece at this point. I know I've missed that one countless times. I literally thought my game just froze because it couldn't move down right. <laughs> anyway. Switch. <laughs> so yeah, we have basically done everything difficult in the prologue. The rest of it is just going to be talking and exploring. Because there's actually a bunch to explore now. Or a bunch, call it what you want. Actually, that's not true. That's one more fight that could be classified as kind of difficult. Honestly, it's probably more challenging than this fight. Actually, I'm not sure. It's not like a mini boss mode or anything. Anyway, uh, a bridge magically came out of the castle. And also, it's not a castle anymore. Are we going to talk about how stupid of a design decision this is? Like, imagine you're building a castle. Like, and you your intent is to rule the world. Why would you intentionally make a switch... 
that destroys it. <laughs> I don't get it. I believe mean, this is just nothing. Oh, it's actually something. Oh, super shroom. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I can cook that, which would be very helpful. Since cooking in this. Oh, there we go. Cammy, of course, gonna keep pestering us. Anyway. Oh yeah, we have a pizza section now. I completely forgot about this. I don't know. Wait, is it pizza section now? I guess it is, yeah, because Twink has to give us, give us the quote-unquote lucky start. Oh, wait, lucky start, lucky star. Dude, I've... I'm gonna say this so many times. I've been playing way too much Thousand Year Door. Anyway. I do believe we have our first peach interval here. These are gonna come in a couple times throughout the game. Uh... They are mostly going to be after every chapter. I think they are always, uh, except for this time, I think they are always after each chapter, like after the main boss. There's actually some pretty good collectibles we can get from these. So I wonder if they've been made more difficult. Anyway. Koopa Bros are going to do their special move. You know, I'm still very confused about what that, like, attack is. Because, like, obviously you fight the Koopa Bros. But, the thing, oh yeah, there's a uh, stone block here. We'll come back here once we have a stone hammer. And we'll come back for that block once we have Bombat. I think we're almost at Toad Town at this point. Which is uh, really awesome because Toad Town has an amazing piece of music. <laughs> That I literally know. Like, again, I've only played it twice and I already know it. Like, in and out. Anyway. This should give us hammer throw. Yeah. This is actually going to be pretty useful here in the beginning. Because of the simple fact that there's literally enemies that require it in this game. Kind of like... Uh, Spike Parabussy. Uh, in TTYD, where you need spike shields to really do much to it. Actually, you can just use, like, other things too. But spike shields definitely the main way to get through it. Anyways, we're in Totem. Uh, star piece there, of course. Same as it's always been, I guess. I'm actually gonna start by going into the pipe real quick, because I am curious if the table has been updated. Oh god, that transition. Uh, hi Ouija. Uh, the thing is, there's like an, not an achievement table, there's like a progress table in here. And it basically keeps track of, you know, how many star pieces do you have, how many badges, how many recipes have you cooked. Um, that's basically the gist of it. I completely forgot that this scene existed because I never go here in the beginning of the game. This table right here. Okay, it actually is updated. That's actually pretty cool. So there's 90 badges now. That means there's been added 10. One of which is obviously the double pane we found back there. Then we also have 3 out of 202 star pieces. Uh, I'm trying to remember how many there were in the original. Because there were quite a lot. But I do not think there were 202. Anyway, the dojo's up there. I don't think we're... Yeah, we can't even go up there yet. It's like the shop, too. Is the exit here? Yeah. Oh, it's actually been changed. So we have a pebble. I don't remember this being here. Along with that, we have mushrooms, honey syrup, fire flower, egg, sleepy sheep, and pebble. Um, One thing I will say is simply to con for convenience sake, the only time I will save state in this game is when I have to coin grind. Because I can literally save so much time by just being able to do one save state. And I honestly do not care. I don't want to coin grinds. It's so boring. Anyway. Uh, and there we have Merlon. We have the post office. Is there anything in the post office yet? I forget. I guess it doesn't matter. I believe there's a letter to, for, the, uh, for Goombario at that point. Then over here we have Ralph. He's obviously not selling anything yet. And I believe that there's still a log here. 
Oh, dude, these transitions are killing me. And then, of course, we have the Black Toads. Why the Cooper Bros decided to hide as specifically Black Toads, we will never know. I can't imagine it would have been that hard to just dress up as a normal toad. Also, I'm noticing a warp pipe here. Uh, was it? I don't think that was in the base game. Like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that pipe was in the base game. Anyways, we're making our way towards Shooting Star Summit, and we actually have another area worth of exploring that wasn't in Manila. So if we go this way, uh, obviously it's the same. We still have Merlot and Merlovely and a chest. And more stairs we can jump up. Uh, he must have been doing some workouts to be used to that. Anyway, so we have the uh, attack effect A, chill out, pay off, berserker, HP drain, st star gift, doubles passive star energy regeneration. It seems that they've gotten rid of all the lucky badges. That's what I'm saying, because close call has been changed, and now pretty lucky has been changed. That's actually pretty decent, though. I think that could be useful for later. Heart finder, flower finder, happy heart, happy heart, happy flower, happy flower. Double dip, mega HP drain. Zap tap, flower saver, crazy heart, and flower fanatic. So apparently, again, I'm not really... A challenge runner of this game because I've always found this the vanilla of this game very awkward to base a challenge run around because of the level cap. Normally my go-to challenge run would be BP only, but in <laughs> in this game that's not possible. Really, I guess it kind of is, but you basically can't fight enemies because if you go over a if you go over level eleven. You have to upgrade something else. <laughs> anyway, this entire section here is new. There's a star piece up there. We can't get it yet. Uh, something down there. There's going to be a bunch of new star pieces too. I hope they're not in panels because that would be terrifying. I think we're supposed to go down here for the new area. Uh, I think we're supposed to go top for the uh, summit itself. But this, Yeah, this is another new area. So here we have a little river. This seems to be a sushi area. More importantly, though, is uh, over here. This castle. Oh, transition, dude. We can't do anything here right now. You'll notice a bunch of stars, a bunch of walls. This is, in my opinion, one of the coolest features added. In Master Quest, uh, the ability to refight boss battles. Basically, if I wanted to refight Tutten Koopa in vanilla, I would have to play through. I would either have to get to chapter two, copy my save file, and then refight him on those save files, or if I didn't do that, replay all the way up to chapter two to fight him again. Dude. So yeah, being able to refight them is a big blessing. Um, they will be harder though, they will be a lot harder. Anyway, we can't do much about that without paracarry. Even then, I am very suspicious about what we can even do. Or just curious about what we can even do when we have paracarry. Anyway, let's get the star piece. I actually forgot the uh, star piece in Toad Town, the tree. We'll have to get that when we're back there. At least I'm assuming that most of the vanilla star piece locations are still present. So, uh, yeah. This mountain is long. Dude, this mountain is so long. And then this is like the longest fucking cut it's probably not the longest talk talking cutscene in the game. But it is really fucking long. And literally I feel like I've only read this the very first time I played this game. Because oh my god, there's so much text. 
They don't even tell us their names, dude. Piece of shit. <laughs> so now is the peach section, right? Yes, now is the peach section. Good. Now we have the whole twink thing. <laughs> Sniffle. Dude, she has like no faith in us. Like Mario's probably hurt. Bitch, we've saved you like up to this point, like at over fifteen times or something, probably. As you probably I'm not sure if you got on spin offs. Probably like ten at least though. Like, you really expect someone who saved you that many times to die forty five minutes after he's fallen out. I guess you can't know that we survived the fall. But see, we're paper. Like, literally, they've used this logic before. Where, like, when you fall to the ground in this game, you're just a piece of paper. Wobbling. <laughs> anyway, Twink. The cutest character in the game, except for every single Yoshi. <laughs> I don't know how many Yoshis there are, so I won't get this guy a rank. Yeah, speedy spin. This is such a nice change, dude. See, normally you get Lucky Star here. Uh, Lucky Star is what allows you to do action commands. So in vanilla, you can't actually do action commands until this point in the game. Um, however, because we already have action commands, Twink, or it's Peach, I guess, decides to give us speedy spin. And I believe in this game, it also costs zero BP, which is how it should have always been. I don't know why it ever costed 1 BP. Ever. <laughs> Point is, though, uh, we're gonna get ambushed by Twink. Bam. Ouch. <laughs> I love that sprite of Mario when he just gets hit. Like, he's just so shocked. He uses, like, I think the only time it's used is, uh, is when you get a game over. It's, like, one of the random things that can pop up. Anyway, is this Kamek? Or is this Magic Koopa? This is Kamek, okay. Like, this is so confusing to figure out. Anyway, Kamek. Let's see it. 13 HP. Power jump. I did not exp- okay. I don't think we die to any attack he does here though. Oh, I actually blocked it. Nice. And then finally... Boop. That was pretty easy. That was the fight I was worried was going to be harder. But nah. With power jump, that's literally free. <laughs> Anyways. Now we have a prolonged cutscene. Because whoops, he forgot something. Oh damn. He forgot the message. Anyway, so we're almost out of the prologue. We've almost made it. <laughs> so, I forget if the log actually opens up now. It might. Anyway. Yeah, PG's castle's literally right above here, by the way. This is where it used to be. There we go. Oh yeah, Donlon, right? I forgot call it the Merlon. Uh, yeah, for some reason, everyone is, every, Mur, like, every single character in the Mur family has been changed to Dawn. And I don't think we've ever gotten an explanation why it, it's been changed. Oh, yeah, let's equip a speedy spin. That was, yeah, zero BP. So now, I actually haven't used last this, it's kind of dumb, it's on C, I can spin. Also, he's the star piece, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don Lon here. My man. 
Is this where he's gonna tell us about the mafia and shit? I feel like this is where he's gonna talk about the mafia. Yeah, he got shot and then. <laughs> Bro, this has to be like an inside joke. And then everybody died. <laughs> Ugh, dude. Right, so Merlon sells information. Um, what this means is if you're stuck, if you don't know what to do, you can talk to Merlon and he'll give you what you need to do. Anyways... <laughs> Don't even think of asking the Mafia for help. I'm gonna be good to heal. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's also Mer Love Lee. Uh, she was the one we saw back in Shooting Star Summit uh, next to Merlot. Or Don Lovely, Don Low, whatever. Next to the badge person. Uh, she gives us information about star pieces and badges and stuff. Any missed collectibles uh, we might need. That could be helpful. But we're probably going to need to farm coins for that. Like always. T when you just try to go down right and you just can't. Wait, if I... Let me see this. Wait, let me get stuck on down right if I can. Can I actually... Of course not, I need to. Here we go. You just, get s you just spin in place. <laughs> That's actually funny. Okay. Also, yes, I've tampered with the dead zone and everything. It's not really... Yeah. Again, I'll try to figure it out, but... It's not the end of the world. I can easily play like this. There we go. I'll need a blue shell Koopa. Yep. Let's continue into chapter one. We have eight minutes left on recording. Around that, at least. Of course, I can stop early. I can stop late. Not that big. Anyway, Koopa. I don't have to hammer these guys. It's oh, dude, what the hell is this layout? Huh? Alright. Let's tattle this guy. How much HP does this guy have? Four. Interesting. I don't have a fire flower, do I? No. Nah. Maybe I should have bought a fire flower. I don't know. Let's just get rid of this guy. Dude, oh. I suck at guarding, clearly. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. I need to be careful here. Like, we don't want to just die. There we go. It's better. Just hammer throw. Like, we're going to use hammer throw in a bit. Okay? Like... But if I go in and out, I believe the enemies do respawn. But it's kind of bad because I kind of have to heal. I guess though, because like hold fast, that could be helpful. Anyway, back here is a block. We can't reach it until we have ultra boots. So I guess we'll have to wait. <laughs> here we go. Oh, another new enemy. Again, uh, this, uh, this enemy is actually not in vanilla. This is a big Oomba. A large Goomba. Uh, it has 5 HP. Let's kill the pair Goomba first. I actually screwed up the action command. Thankfully hit the guard. Okay, so he doesn't have more than one attack. That's good. So yeah, this guy isn't really a threat. It's just, he's just there to have a lot of HP. He's definitely a lot more threatening in normal Master Quest. Oh, I screwed up. Yeah, yes, one attack. Alright. Dude, that's the second time in a row. Actually, dude. It doesn't matter, but god. Anyway, six star points. Can you drop some hearts, please? Maybe just one? No? Actually, FP is pretty good, too. Do more power jumps. Mushroom, probably? No. What do we get here? Maybe we get dizzy attack. All right. This is actually pretty helpful. Is it? It's free BP now. Wow. Okay, it's it's two in vanilla, by the way. Let's use it here. Oh, yep. Here we go. This is the this is the kind of formations I'm talking about. That just really get on my tats. <laughs> anyway, 
Get rid of that guy, and then tattle the spiked Paragoomba. So yeah, we can only hit this guy with hammer throw. Or spike shield, but we don't have spike shield at this point. Everyone has one attack here, so in theory... Like... Um, yeah, in theory, we should be fine. Also, Hammer Throw's been buffed. Hammer Throw's not supposed to, be, to do 4 damage. That being said, it's still kind of pointless when you have Power Jump in the end, but... Oh, dude, I'm gonna hate this. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the big Goomba here. And then I'm gonna heal outside of battle. Yeah, I know in Noah Master Quest, Koopa Troopas have 5 HP, and I know Spiked Goombas have defense. So, I'm sorry if I'm going to compare this too much to the original, but again, it's the only one I've really watched. Alright, let's use a Mushroom. We have so many anyways. Oh yeah, right, I don't use it from here. I do... That's the wrong one, that's the wrong one. Is it left? It's left. Here we go. I have a Sleepy Sheep. This could be helpful. I'm also trying to remember where the star pieces are. Get a Fright Jar? I can sell that. Uh, Pow Block. I'm gonna hold on to this because it's actually pretty helpful. Jump onto this guy. Another... Knees. I don't actually have enough for... Uh... Hammer throw. So I have to use a honey syrup here. Okay. Uh, let's just jump on the... Yeah, let's just jump on the Koopa Troopa that's already down. Why did that guy do two damage suddenly? I swear he only did one before. Oh, hold fast, right? Oh, I'm gonna get so tripped up by all this. Alright, let's get rid of the spiked Paragumba. <laughs> and the Koopa. There we go. I'm trying my best here, I swear down. <laughs> I'm not going to use Power Jump. I'm going to save the FP here. Because we're coming up to a healing area soon anyways. Dude, please hit the fucking guard, man. You know, my, yeah, if I'm coming up to a healing area, why am I not using Power Jump? Dude, I'm... I'm literally contradicting myself at this point. Alright. Boom. And boom. I I missed the action command again. Oh, we're leveling up here. Nice. We're gonna go for BP again. We'll be going for this for like most of the beginning here. As I said, FP plus, HP plus, really helpful to have. Uh, and also since they just cost BP to use, I might as well. Anyways, Spike Goomba. Die. I cannot get rid of you. Uh, that's kind of annoying, actually. Also, uh, you cannot earn infinite star points. For those of you guys that think I'm gonna grind, uh, the game is scaled in a way so that once, like, the more, like, the higher level you are, the less star points you'll get from weaker enemies. So I think the way it's programmed is every single enemy in this game has a base star point count at level 1. And then for every level you get, it detracts some star points that you would otherwise get. These are some mess up. I'm going to use Hammer Throw here on the Spike Goomba. There we go. That was like one of the few situations where it's actually useful.
Also, this guy has two damage. I'm just being a dumbass because hold fast. So yeah, this guy's two damage. So do Koopas. And Spiked Goombas have three. Normal Goombas have one. Paragoombas have two. I'm just trying to keep this in mind right now. <laughs> anyway, down here we have a badge. Oh no, a star piece. Not a badge. Never mind then. <laughs> also a sleepy sheep. And a Koopa. What is up, guys? Okay. Don't stop. Uh, all right. Let's. I'm gonna kill the Paragoomba back here. I'm. Okay. He only has one attack. It's fine. Dude. This guy's not gonna do damage, no matter if I guard or not. All right. So now we go, Goombario on this guy. As you guys can clearly tell, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> but again, what games am I really good at? So yeah, Hold Fast is uh, pretty good to have. Is it better than Close Call? Probably not. I mean, I guess they kind of edge each other out because Hold Fast is more consistent. But when Close Call works, it is so much better. Over here, there's actually a free heal here if you uh, circle around this candy cane, it drops hearts. Pretty cool. Then vanilla, too, by the way. Also, a honey syrup. Also, if I'm not mistaking, if I do, that's not the right order. Nah, there's a specific order you have to uh, hit these. And you get a badge. Hi, Koopa. That's fuzzy. Now, it's actually completely optional <laughs> to get every shell from these fuzzies. Uh, so I'm not going to do it. Why can I not? Huh? Wait, why can I not? There. What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, it's Act B. I forget which effect this actually is. This is, okay, this is the whistle one. There's a Yoshi one, and that's the only one I want. <laughs> Alright, let's go heal. And we are going to call this the end of the episode. Since we managed to get to Koopa Village. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Because I'm a sellout. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.